Good morning, my friends, and thank you for coming to visit me for another shave. Today is a, a theme shave. We're using a stick, and today I'll be using Spike. I don't have a lot of other stick shaves for the rest of the week, but I'm manufacturing a couple, so we'll be in pretty good shape. I'll be using a Maggard Synthetic. Uh, and today I'll be using a prior Zollingen 5.8. It's a very pretty uh, razor. Um, so really there's not much uh, else to, to do because I'm face lathering. I'm gonna get some water on my face. That probably will help some. I was kind of hoping to uh, shave today with uh, the Gillette uh, Heritage that was supposed to come in today, but it's not here yet and I'm feeling scruffy and because I'm home alone, I'm gonna just do with what I got and then I'll use Heritage once it gets here. It's supposed to be here today. I think the last time I used this uh, soap was in September. It's still a pretty good travel soap. I, uh, and it does do a pretty good job lathering up. Now is it? Well, I've got to pre-shave the intergalactic space cube. I don't know if this would count as a stick or not, because it is a freestanding, put it on your face kind of thing. I'll leave that to the philosophers. Okay, let's see what we do. This uh, razor, was given to me as a gift shortly after I started shaving. Someone on Facebook said, Hey Rich, you uh you just started shaving. I got something for you. Come on by, I'll bring I'll give it to you. And here it was. Beautiful razor. I don't think it had ever been used at that point. And a strop to go with it. I piffed the strop. It was a beautiful thing. Nice and strong. You only have two, so many strops hanging on the wall before they start to get in each other's way. And I noticed I had a blade stall right there, but I pulled off right away. And then let the weight of the blade carry itself through. I don't have a whole lot of whiskers in that area, but the ones I do are like little tree trunks. ago I uh, was in a community theater production of Fiddler on the Roof and I had to grow a beard for that and there's a family photo of me with the beard oh my version of a beard how's that because um, 
I'm not genetically gifted with a lot of facial hair. And so it was a little sparse. But I was able to thicken it up with makeup for the production. At least I didn't have to uh, paste hair on myself. Soap was drying out a little bit. I think it's just I mix it up a little dry. I add some water to it for my face and uh, dip the tips a little bit. Ah, that's better. You know your soap is dry when you or going over your lip or chin and you look closely and you can see little cracks forming in it. That's usually a good sign that your, your lather's dry. It looked like crinkle paint when I was put, going into it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Reapply a little bit here. This is the side where It's just not been feeling right. I feel better cross-handed than I do uh, on this side. gotten too cold now for me to allow the window to be open for an entire shave. Safety Cat was here a little while ago. I had her pose for a couple of pictures. I'm going to send myself a chance to feel myself up here, see where i got to pay attention. I'm pretty smooth here. Here where I didn't reapply. I reapplied lather this part, but I didn't do it here. It's kind of a... Uh, area of trouble. 
And as I, even though I said I was going to, I haven't done many rehearsal laps since my last shave. I should have. This is a perishable skill. So I feel like I need to do straight shaves and uh, hone and strop just to keep the mojo going. Otherwise, if I lose my mojo, yeah, it's, that's a bad thing. I don't want to do that. I can go straight against, I think. Felt pretty good, but boy, I'm here and whiskers dying. This feels better. Perhaps I'm subconsciously not doing as good a job on my neck, just being timid. I don't know, feel I'm sorry for Chris Noir, or Dear Noir, in Sacramento. We've had a, uh, you guys not on the cadre. We've been having a mystery box passed around. It's his turn to get it. But because today's a federal holiday, that box is languishing in the post office. So he gets to wait an entire day before he gets it. And I know he's excited. We all are excited to see him. See what he thinks, because he's kind of like the younger brother of all of us. That's better. I'll say it's a DFS. I'm going to leave myself alone after this. If I go any closer, then I won't have anything to harvest next time. I'm only 13 minutes in, so I'll uh, check and see if I have any bad mistakes, and I haven't. A little here on the tip of the chin, where I usually kind of carve myself up. I think we're in good shape. Let me clean my mess up here. I'll be right back. Buddy, it's your great granddad here. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy fighting for your freedom in this little thing called the Second World War. But now, you're using that freedom to hurl insults at celebrities on Twitter? Listen, hashtag, you're not gonna fight like a man. You at least shave like a man. Excuse me. LOLing everything. Thank you for waiting. Today is pretty good shave. I'll say a darn fine shave. It's brought to you by the uh, Spike Stick and the Maggard Synthetic. This one's starting to get a little aged, but the knot itself is doing great. Just the paint coming on. Uh, we used my prior 5.8. I don't know if there's a number on it or not. It's a prior 804. Uh, this, of my razors, I, I have mostly vintage razors. This is the only one that is actually, I consider new. Um, oh, and the aftershave, which I'm about to apply. We use a little bit of Thayer's in the, during the commercial break. Uh, 
it's got a nice citrusy bright kind of a feel to it you need a mood boost and it happens especially in the winter time uh, I don't know if this would be a considered a, a winter soap but it certainly does feel good I like the aftershave that's all I have for today uh, I'd like to thank you for coming to visit if you want to see me online I'm Major Rich on the shavingcadre.com and I'm also Rich Shaves on uh, YouTube if you're seeing me there, like and subscribe and come visit the Shaven Cadre. There's lots of stuff going on right now. Uh, it's just a great place to hang out. you got a great bunch of guys. Uh, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.